Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for a really long time, you guys have been asking for a closet tour. And for a really long time, I've been hiding from those comments. To be honest, I thought my wardrobe was pretty boring. I don't really have really exciting, interesting clothes to show you, but the other day I noticed a comment on my Instagram account where someone said they'd been begging for a really long time and felt that I was ignoring them. And I definitely didn't want that person to feel that way. I just genuinely think my wardrobe is just not that interesting. But today is the day and I am showing you inside my wardrobe. Now this video is actually about the clothes inside my video. I will do a separate video showing you all my handbags and then another video showing with you all my shoes. So if you haven't subscribed, please make sure you do. Alright, starting with my wardrobe. Now this cupboard and there's like a mini cupboard to the side of me, that is all my clothes. I don't have any clothes in storage. What is in here gets me through the whole entire year. The only clothes that I have in storage is actually my ski gear which is stored at my parents house. So what you're seeing here is pretty much everything that I own. And also, I'm actually finding this to be a little bit cluttered and there's too much here. So I kind of feel inspired to, as I'm going through showing you things, find things that I can maybe sell or donate or maybe there's tired and need to be turned into like clothing or cleaning rags for my home. So first of all, I'm really kind of particular about how I present my clothes when I get dressed in the morning. I want to open up my cupboard doors and feel inspired to put together an outfit. I also want to know that all my clothes go well together, that I can maximize my outfits with minimizing how many items I buy. When I do buy items, I prefer to invest in higher quality versus quantity. I want to buy something that I really love, I'm going to value, I'm going to use, I'm going to appreciate so that it lasts a really long time. All right, first things first. Um, I color coordinate my um, clothing. So for example, my pants and skirts go from light to dark. My tops go from light to dark. Um, my jackets go from light to dark and then my heavier kind of leather jackets go from light to dark. Um, I will also show you through my um, drawers in just a second, but I'm going to pull out my key pieces, which I really love. All right, first of all, starting with my blazers. Now, blazers for me are a fantastic item to have in my wardrobe because I can quickly make a really casual outfit quite smart. And I also love wearing a beautiful dress and then throwing on a blazer over my shoulders. Now I actually have a couple of these blazers, um, they're Bal Balmain, and um, it took me a really long time to actually go and buy one of these and then when I bought it, my first one, which was actually this one, I loved it so much and practically lived in it. Um, over time, I saved up to buy a couple of other ones. Now, these are classic colors, they're never going to date, and they work really well with my existing wardrobe. But I never just went out and splurged, I slowly worked my way up. I had like just a, you know, witchery blazer, and then I moved on to a Camilla and Mark blazer before investing in one of these because, to be perfectly honest, they are really expensive. But I am planning on keeping mine for a lifetime because they're so classic, they never really go out of style. Oh. The next two items I want to show you are an expensive version versus a, I guess, more budget-friendly version. So these are my two only leather jackets. Now this one is probably about seven or eight years old. It's from Zara and it is so comfortable. Um, I never want to get rid of this. I don't even know if it actually is leather, but it was so reasonable. This one is one of my favorite brands, Scanlon and Theodore. Again, it's one of my, I guess, capsule color pieces, light pink. It goes with heaps of my clothes and color schemes. And it's also great to just throw on over a dress. Now this was obviously a lot more expensive than this one, but it just shows you, I don't actually need to spend lots of money on clothes. I go with what I love. And I, of course, value, use, and appreciate both of these, no matter what the price is. The next part I want to show you with my wardrobe is actually my tops. Now this is where I try and be a bit more fashionable. Um, I probably turn my tops over a bit more because they do wear out. But again, I stick to my color palette scheme of really classic neutral colors and then stick to the pink color or the light blue that I kind of use to mix things up, staring away from the blacks and navy blues and nudes. 
So again, a whole range of different things in here. Um, these are always fantastic. You would have seen me wear this pattern a lot. It's the Cecile, Cecile Copenhagen, I think is how you pronounce it. Um, these are so comfortable. They're great. They go in the washing machine and they're fantastic to throw on with some denim cutoffs or just some jeans, but really comfortable. And they also make these in dresses as well. Now this is probably, this top, this denim top is probably the top, oh, it's actually inside out, that I get asked the most about when I wear this in videos. I bought this when I was pregnant with Rocco. So it is five and a half, almost six years old. And I bought it from Sports Girl and I bought it on sale and I've always taken really good care of it. And I have worn it countless times. I always get people asking me where I got it from. So unfortunately they don't sell this anymore, but just such a great classic piece that has never gone out of style, even, you know, six years later. Now there are a couple of really special pieces, which I love that are a bit more delicate. And I'm really careful and particular when buying delicate pieces because I have dogs, I have Rocco with sticky fingers, I'm really clumsy. So I don't buy delicate pieces that often, but I do really love this. Now I bought this in Dubai and um, it is, I think it's a self-portrait um, top and it is absolutely beautiful. It's, it is delicate, but I love wearing this with tight black pants or a pencil skirt. And surprisingly, it's actually really warm, but it's a really feminine, like beautiful classic piece, which I absolutely love. Now, another really classic um, top that I absolutely love, which surprisingly wasn't actually too expensive because the dresses of this brand are ridiculously expensive. And it's a Roland Moray, and I actually have this in red as well with the matching skirt. So this is a really beautiful, like cow neck drapey top. Um, it's really classic, it never goes out of style. Again, I wear it with black pants, black skirts, jeans. Um, it's just something so elegant and sophisticated um, that you can wear without showing too much skin. And the back is just simply a tie. So you kind of show a little bit of skin at the back and that is pre pretty much it, but it's a really classic style. And this for me was worth the investment. Now for my pants, it's pretty boring. Um, I pretty much have cream pants, um, long denim skirt, um, like, skirts for work, classic black pants, that is pretty much it. Over here, which actually is looking a little bit messy um, and not color coordinated to my likings, which I will quickly fix whilst I'm here. And a range of black pants. Now, I don't really like owning lots of stuff, but I have some classic um, leather pants to get me through winter, which keep me nice and warm. Just classic black jeans. Um, the classic blue jeans, obviously the blue jeans that I'm wearing, and then some white jeans. That is, These are all pretty much the pants that I own, other than two pairs over here. That is it, because I don't like owning lots of stuff. And to me, this actually feels like a lot of stuff. All right, for winter time, I have a couple of coats. One of which is at the dry cleaners, the pink one. However, I have a classic trench, which I've had for about five or six years. Um, this was an investment piece, it's a Burberry one. Um, it's really fitted, again, really classic, it never goes out of style. The next jacket I have, actually Tom bought me, and Tom and I have very different tastes, so I actually, it's weird, I love this, and I live in it during winter because it's so warm. It's a Kingsland puffer jacket, navy blue with green, uh, gray inside, really comfortable. I wear it with my active gear, um, keeps me nice and warm and toasty without it being too heavy. Next piece I wanna show you is, I actually buy a lot of things pre-loved. I have no shame in buying pre-loved. Um, I've got so many bargains. Now, this jacket would have, or coat I should say, would have cost over a thousand dollars. It's by Camilla and Mark. But I think I picked this up for like a couple of hundred dollars on online, second hand. Navy blue, trench, super warm, hangs off my shoulders, goes with all my colors in my wardrobe. I love this. All right, so in my drawers, I keep my underwear, my t-shirts and my jumpers, and that's pretty much it. I like to see lots of space because it makes me feel organized and I have like clarity in the morning when I'm getting dressed. I keep my underwear in shoe boxes separated so I keep all my blacks together and I wear matching set underwear every day. I'm super particular about that. But this is a great way of keeping your um, closet organized and I guess like separated with like a sense of purpose. I also have all my accessories like my belts also stored in shoebox. So again, keeps it nice and neat and organized. Um, in here, again, I always make sure everything is folded up correctly and put in the right place. It means getting dressed in the morning is not only easy, but it's quick. 
Um, I use these, which is what I used to use to, in my handbag. They're the mesh bags. I now use them to keep my swimwear organized. It's great for going on holiday because I just quickly throw that into my suitcase. And it's great because the sand goes straight through this. I also have a collection of sarongs, which are great for a really hot summer's day in Sydney to head down to the beach. Again, my t-shirts. Now, I've started buying Everlane t-shirts. They're ethically sourced and they're really good quality and they're also really reasonably priced. So I just keep everything neatly organized and folded together. I have two pairs of denim cuffs. That is it. That's all I need. Um, just some basic singlets. And then here is my gym gear pile. I always keep my gym gear in one pile again. So it's quick and easy to go to get ready to go to the gym. All right. Now, um, next thing is the last draw is uh, my jumpers again. I make sure I fold them up separately. I try and distinguish between the colors so I need to find something in a hurry. I can quickly see that pink top popping up against the black or the navy blue. So I wouldn't keep my, you know, store my blacks and navy blues together because it just looks like one big black dark hole and makes it takes longer to then find it. So those are my drawers. That is pretty much it. Now there's one other teeny tiny cupboard and that is where I keep my dresses. Okay, so the last section of my wardrobe is my dresses. Now, I keep them in this, like the end part of my closet. It's really small. Having a small closet forces me to be really strict with my clothes and stops me from doing any excessive shopping. So again, I keep all my dresses from light to dark. I have a couple of rule breaker dresses that go against my color palette, but I absolutely love them, so I'm okay with that. Now I'll just show you a couple of pieces. Um, this is a Victoria Beckham, which I bought secondhand. Um, really classic, really comfortable. Um, I've worn this to the races. I've worn this on Channel 9. Um, I've worn this for photo shoots. It's just a great piece, which I bought for a fraction of the full retail price. Um, next is um, a Ellery dress. Now I randomly somehow accidentally got invited to a Chanel fashion show. I swear there was some sort of mix up on the database because I don't shop at Chanel at all, but um, they invited me to their show and I wore this dress. It's actually an Australian um, designer called Ellery. And someone from Chanel actually came up and asked me like, oh, what collection? Is that like last year's spring summer collection? I'm like, uh, no, it's not actually Chanel, it's Ellery. Um, but anyway, this has been a great dress to have. I have worn it so much. It's really comfortable. I actually used to wear this when I was pregnant with Rocco. Um, and it's just been a great piece that has lasted me a really long time. Um, a couple of other really fun pieces, like this is from Zara. Great to just throw on, um, to go head down to the beach or to a barbecue or to catch up with friends. Throw on some sandals or some sneakers, like fun, easy dress. Again, sticking with my colour scheme with neutrals, whites and blues and a little bit of pink. So I love this. Now this is um, one of my dresses that Tom hates because he always says I need to watch out for poachers when I wear it, but I bought it in London. Um, it's a Rixo dress. I've never even heard of this brand before, but I really love it. And it's such a great slim fitting dress. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing a muumuu or a tent because sometimes when I wear maxi dresses as much as I love them, I look like a clown. Um, next dress I bought is another one in London and it's a Hugo Boss dress, which I bought for like 60% off in the sales in Europe. Um, again, really classic pencil, figure hugging, um, and I have worn this only twice, um, but I intend to wear it for Channel 9 and hopefully also to the races, but really classic, is never going to go to style. It's got a really nice crisscrossing back. Now this is another one of my wool breaking dresses. I would never normally wear patterns, I like neutrals and like nothing too busy, but this has been a fantastic dress. I, again, I bought, had this like before I had Rocco. So again, this would be like six years old. It's a Zimmerman dress. It's got a beautiful gold like bar. It's got these really pretty little um, ties with, um, I think it's friend, not friend to panties, but violets, I think maybe. Um, really comfortable dress. I have gone to sell this on the secondhand economy so many times, but last minute I've always like decided no, just wear it a little bit longer. So I think I'm meant to keep this dress and keep on wearing it, but it has aged really well. Like it doesn't look tired or worn at all. Next piece is the red, um, Roland Moray um, top, which I've got the matching black one. I wore this to Ascot to the races um, in Europe this year, and it's got a matching pencil skirt. Again, co totally against my color palette scheme, but it's nice to kind of break those rules every now and again, as long as you love, value, use, and appreciate it. And then the final dresses are in my back. I'm not gonna bother showing you, they're really boring. They're black, they're blue, they're green. Um, they're really classic pieces, which I've most of them, which are secondhand, but they're really classic. I'll show you actually one of them because this is another secondhand dress. 
Um, I think I bought it for three or four hundred dollars. Um, it's a Alex Perry dress, another Australian designer. Beautiful zip all the way out the back and crisscrossing down here. But that is my whole entire wardrobe that you have seen. So I really hope you've um, enjoyed peeking inside my wardrobe. I'm sorry it's taken me so long to actually do this. But make sure you subscribe because you will shortly see my handbag collection and also my shoe collection. Alright, thanks for watching everyone. Ciao.